Hey people, what is up? I know why you're here, so let's see what SSH is and how to use it to your advantage. Secure Shell, sometimes also called Secure Socket Shell, or as some geek programmers call it, shh, is a network communication protocol that uses client-server model to let two computers communicate with a secure and remote connection. Using SSH, the client and the server communicate through an encrypted connection, eliminating any risk of man-in-the-middle attacks and keeping data transmissions private. SSH also refers to the utilities that implement the SSH protocol. Users can use the command line interface, CLI, to execute shell commands and perform various file operations on a variety of devices like remote computers, uh, web servers, routers, and others. Now, where is it used? SSH is an indispensable tool in web hosting. Although you may need some technical knowledge to take advantage of all of the command interfaces capabilities. You can use it to securely create backups, transfer files, and perform file operations like copying, pasting, or moving files on the server. And with the proper permissions, users can execute different commands on remote host, including shell and bash scripts. SSH gives users the tools to manage servers effectively through a secure and remote connection. Now, SFTP, Secure File Transfer Protocol, uses an SSH connection in combination with a standard FTP to securely transfer files. It's an extra layer of security that keeps all data transfers private and encrypted. And how do you use SSH? Using SSH starts with an SSH client like PuTTY for Windows or OpenSSH for Linux systems that communicates with the server. Next, users enter the remote machine's IP address or hostname and port number along with users' credentials such as username and password or public key. The remote server runs a daemon that monitors a specific port for incoming client connection requests. And finally, a new SSH session is established if the user's credentials are correct. Using a command line based client like OpenSSH, users run SSH and request the connection using their username and the remote computer's IP address and port like this. Then the client and the server exchange identifying information and prompt for the password or public key. After entering the password, the SSH session starts if the user's credentials are correct. Now, when do you use SSH? SSH is a valuable tool for managing files and servers remotely, but its usefulness doesn't stop there. With SSH access and the correct permissions, you can completely control the remote host operating system with commands and scripts run through the remote shell. For example, you can view and monitor server and application load, use it to make bulk changes to files, or use any other shell command in the same way you would on a local machine. SSH access also presents the perfect opportunity to install WordPress command line interface, WordPress CLI. This tool allows you to work with WordPress without a web browser or the familiar WordPress dashboard. Using SSH, you can pass user credentials along with the WordPress CLI command on a remote server. By the way, if you'd like to learn more on the basics of WordPress CLI and how to get started with it, check out our full beginner's tutorial here. It's a great place to start. Overall, getting started with WordPress CLI is very simple. All you need is just a couple of lines of code in the terminal to install it. And once connected through SSH to the WordPress CLI, you have a fast, secure access to all the files and directories in the WordPress installation. It provides an efficient way to perform or even automate certain tasks such as core updates, managing plugins and themes, creating XML and database backups, finding and replacing across multiple files and databases, changing permissions for users, files, directories, etc., moderating comments, and WordPress cron jobs. WordPress CLI is also a powerful tool for working with WooCommerce. You can create bulk products or lists of orders and customers, manage WooCommerce memberships, and much more. So basically, use it to complete any task you would normally use your WordPress dashboard for and take advantage of this tool's awesome time-saving interface. And that's it for SSH, you guys. I hope it was useful and you learned something new. Don't forget to like and check out this video tutorial on WordPress CLI for beginners. And I'll see you in another video.